Welcome back to In the Can. We're going to be talking about the film On the Ice and director Andrew Okbeaha. McLean is here with actors Josiah and Frank. I will let you introduce them and say their last names because I'm sorry. <laughs> they they look like a twist, a tongue twister for me. So um, introduce <laughs> sure. the actors here and tell us who they play and then we'll talk about the overall um, uh, film. Sure. These are the two leads of the movie. This is uh, Josiah Putkatuk from Barrow and that's Frank Kuduk Ireland from Nome. Good morning. Nice to meet you both. Thanks nice for running in here. It's an early morning, I know, but we are excited to talk to you because uh, Andrew and I were talking about, you know, the fact that this film is set and filmed in Borough, Alaska, which is the northernmost point in the United States. Yep. It's darn cold there. Mm -hmm. And so we were just talking a little bit about, you know, the logistics of filming there and, and things like that, and we'll get into more of that. But tell us about this story. Uh, the story is about two... Um, teenage boys who've grown up together in Barrow, They're, they've grown up as best friends, and they, they get into some trouble, and they get involved in a killing, and then they try to cover it up. So it's about that. It's about trying to get away with the murder, both, you know, just how do we get away with it, but then also how do we deal with the, the, the guilt and the emotions that, that come along with that. It's kind of a thriller and a morality tale at the same time. And I understand both of you are from Borough, is that correct? No. No. I'm, I'm from Nome, Alaska. Well, you're from Nome. Yes. I'm from Barrow. You, you're yes. from Barrow, okay. Mm -hmm. And have you done films previous to this? Nope. Uh, no. It was my first time acting, like rehearsal was the real. This first was your time. first time acting. Mm -hmm. yeah. How did you get connected with him? Uh, well, Josiah, I've actually known since he was about seven, seven or eight, something like that. We went on a hunting trip together out to his, uh, his family's cabin down the coast from Barrow. Um, and then uh, we did a very long search. I actually knew both of them before the film, but that didn't, I had no idea that I was going to be casting them. Uh, but I did a search all over the Arctic looking for actors, flew into little villages in Arctic Canada, all over Arctic Alaska, and just uh, interviewed people, talked with people, and, and found people who could uh, embody the characters and also really had the, 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 the passion and the courage to get in front of a camera and tell the story. And, uh, you know, these were the two guys that I found who really could knock it out could of the park for off. the leads, yeah. Frank, had you acted before? I uh, had not, other than 28 days of uh, rehearsal and improv with the director and this Josiah. This is unbelievable, right? And you two play best friends. Did yeah. you, were you instantly, you know, did you feel a friendship together? I guess as you're thrown into a film, you have <laughs> a, a commonality, right? Yeah, well, um, third round rehearsals, uh, I guess uh, he saw me, you know, I was cracking jokes, making people laugh, and he asked, uh, hey, let's go practice some lines. So we did, and it was just us two in this hallway, and it was real, like, we just hooked yeah. up real quick. Just we instantly quick. Yeah. That's great. Mm -hmm. So again, this is, you know, a little bit of a thriller, but I was reading more than that. It's really kind of a test of, of the human heart a little bit. Yeah. And also explores the community mm -hmm. of uh, Barrows, a small community, and how um, you know, when, when something major like this happens, how a town reacts to it. Yeah, exactly. It's a very tight-knit community. You know, it's the Arctic. It's very sparsely populated. Uh, the towns are small, and everybody tends to be related to each other, or you've grown up together. And so it's, it's very, very tight-knit, very inward-looking. <laughs> and uh, when something like this, a tragedy like a, a death happens, it tests the community, and it, and it kind of shows you uh, the true nature of people and uh, the, in, in the film you know the town kind of comes together and, and wants to heal itself from the, the, the tragic death but the boys because of the, the secret that they're carrying are kept outside of that and that's what really gives a lot of the, uh, the tension for, for the characters. How did the, t how did the community feel about you shooting in their town and using local talent? Were you a celebrity overnight? <laughs> um, <laughs> not necessarily. No? <clears throat> You will be now. I don't think they've uh, Hollywood put Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, it's not. It hasn't hit home yet. So yeah, yeah. The uh, the town was really supportive uh -huh. of of making the film. You know, I'm, I'm from there, and uh, they've they've always been very supportive. We got a lot of help from the community um, in things like uh, like lodging for the cast and and crew. Um, and uh, all the way to things like people giving us like hats and coats and boots to, to keep people warm. Who, who you know, we had to fly up our crew from the uh, lower 48, as we call it, and they weren't necessarily prepared for the conditions of the Arctic. So we got a lot of support from the the community, 
It was there was survive. yeah <laughs> there was definitely an education process about yeah. you know what film requires how much how intrusive a film crew can be mm -hmm. you know when we say can we film in your house we don't just mean go in there with a camera and you know do take a couple right. of shots in a room it's a we, little trucks and yeah. lights and, yeah, and lots like, of people and cables running everywhere I mean it's yeah. it's a big it's an invasion the amount yes. of hours you're gonna borrow the house for it. yeah <laughs> right yeah, exactly. we're gonna you know when you say it's a two minute scene it's actually two days or whatever that you spend there it's a yeah. long time yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, as you mentioned, you had to have coats and things like that. You mm -hmm. are a short, you've, you've done shorts before. This is yeah. your first feature. Mm -hmm. And you go all the way up to, you know, Burrow, where the logistics have got to be pretty challenging yeah. to shoot a film. Tell us a little, I mean, you've mentioned the fact that it was cold there, but you've got a lot more to plan for in that type of conditions. And you're sure. out on the ice. Mm -hmm. That's why it's called on the ice. I mean, That's you're on right. the ice a lot of, a lot of it. So how was that? That was, like you said, it was challenging. It's, uh... The logistics of, of getting everything that we needed, all the equipment up there was tough. Uh, there's no roads into Barrow, and there's no uh, film infrastructure for, you know, thousands of miles. So everything had to be flown in, and that that proved uh, a pretty big challenge. And it meant that we had to be very selective about what kind of equipment we could uh, we could bring up. Then. It was cold, you know. When we were out there shooting, it would but be like But you guys are used to that. I mean, all 20. three of you are. You all from yeah. there. You're right. We're but used the rest to that. We know how to prepare for that. Yeah. The crew, you know, we prepared them as best we could, and and they did great. You know, we didn't lose uh, too many to hypothermia. Uh, <laughs> actually, we didn't lose anybody. It was it was all good. Good. Um, uh, the equipment, for the most part, like they the equipment was great, and so I feel like you know the cold was one thing that we prepared for, and we kind of like and it's a character met in that the story, challenge. really. A absolutely. Yeah. The other part was actually getting onto the ice. You know, all of our equipment we had to load onto like wooden sleds and then oh, drag well. them behind uh, snow machines and just loading and unloading the sleds and like bumping all over the ice. And you should have made a film of the behind the scenes <laughs> logistics. That well, would have actually did. been really interesting. Yeah, we did some of that. I haven't even looked at that yeah. footage. I don't know. Well, congratulations to all of you. I mean, first time director for mm -hmm. a feature, first time actors, literally never even looked at a script a screenplay or a script before I'm assuming so this is an incredible um, honor for you guys to be here and a really great honor for us to get to meet you and talk to you so thank, thank you, you and best of luck with the film it's lots of people have already seen it you have another screening tonight at the Eccles right That's right yep. it's a big venue PM. so have fun with that and thank you all for coming in thank you all Thanks right we'll be wrapping up book. the show on in the can right after this so are you guys